Welcome back guys. In this new series, we will look at creating a Laravel application which is going to be a single page application of course using the Inertia.js front-end you know, uh, library. Okay, the idea of Inertia.js is very similar to Turbolinx if you guys have used it or if you have seen my previous uh, series. So with Inertia.js you get the ability to create a single page application but you don't need to write so much of JavaScript for APIs specifically right the data can be directly passed from the PHP controllers from Laravel to the view components in our case you can use uh, react as well but yeah the passing of data becomes very easy our components don't need to make an HTTP call uh, to fetch data and uh, so what happens is in the end you have all your business logic inside view file view files only previously when we used to take a combination approach you will have a little bit of ui inside a blade file and a little bit of uh, ui or front end code inside your view files however with inertia.js what i have seen is that you can have your entire UI logic or entire UI code inside of you view files okay you just need to create one blade file which holds the containers and that's about it so yes it's less confusing code base because you know you need to focus on only one kind of files for your UI and uh, it gives you the flexibility to add any kind of JavaScript wherever you want in your application so yeah, i'm pretty excited about this i played around with inertia js and i was able to use it very comfortably very quickly okay and i think it definitely saves a lot of time because if we do a full spa inside laravel versus inertia js i think we are looking at saving a lot of time because the API calls and all those stuff will definitely be saved those efforts will not be required and in the end you'll have a very rapid development speed so yeah I hope you enjoy this series where I take you on the journey of right from installing inertia JS into a Laravel application to creating this entire CRUD where you can list you can do paginations you can view uh, you can edit anything okay and everything is an SPA without writing all those API calls for your view components so yeah that's about it guys I hope you like this